Good afternoon. Um, could you tell the viewers your name, please? My name's Catherine Critchell. Hello there. And uh, which category did you play for today? I played for the over 40s. OK, and how did you get on? Very well, yeah. We won 7-1, I believe. Um, I play as a goalkeeper, so um, always disappointed to let one in. But um, the fact that we, we scored more than we, uh, than we conceded is always a good uh, result. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, do, do you normally, um, uh, sorry, um, what, what football club do you normally play for? I play for Long Stratton, ladies. Okay. Um, I play, uh, still play 11 aside for them, um, and I play with the walking football um, team, but they're all um, men there. Right, okay. So, apart from obviously the fantastic win, how are you finding the day as a whole? That's been great. Yes, the girls are fantastic. Um, it's been um, it's been really fun. Everything really um, from practice match last night to um, to the presentations to the actual match itself. Um, it's been a great day. And, and what, what did it feel like to walk out represent and feel you're representing your country? Oh, very proud. Yeah, no, I think no matter what you're going to um, participate in, um, whatever event, um, the fact that you're playing for England, um, yeah, everybody was was really, really, really proud, really excited, um, waited a long time for this. <laughs> how, how long have you actually been playing walking football? Well, walking football, um, I've been playing, started in the middle of last season, so I've been playing less than a year. Okay. Um, and and what, what, what got you involved in walking football in the first place? Well, the, my team Long Stratton, um, who I play for, um, they'd recently brought down the age um, limit, so most ages seem to be over 50s. Um, okay. And they'd opened it up to over 40s, which are now over, were now able to participate in. Um, I thought I'd give it a go, really, and haven't looked back. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, so, w w and you were sporty when you were younger, or? Yes, I've always been sporty. Anything that go goes, I play. So I also play cricket um, for East Anglia as well. And right. uh, just come back from La Manga in Spain, uh, playing cricket um, for the week. Fantastic. Do you, what, what, what do if your friends and family say, say to you when they, you told them you were representing your country? Um, yeah, really excited for me. Yeah, yeah, really, really, really enthusiastic. Couldn't be any more supportive. Fantastic. Um, so, uh, if you were to sum up one thing about walking football, what, what would you say that you like most about it? Um, I really like uh, the fact that the walking makes it, um, it's quite a levelling aspect. So, um, it's really good for new people who haven't played before, people come back from injuries um, and experience as well. The fact that there's no running um, makes, it, makes it accessible to everybody. Mm. Do, do you think there's currently enough being done to bring more women into the game? No, I'd love to see more. I'd love to okay. see um, the FA getting involved and in, in supporting women and, and really, really um, getting behind it and encouraging it. So I would love to see more being... Is there anything in particular you think that could be done? Any improvements in particular ones, advertising, marketing or...? Um, just more more opportunities, more, more tournaments, more right. publicity. Um, yeah. Yeah. The more, the more, the better. Okay. Um, I, I know you're a goalkeeper, um, but do you have any um, tips or techniques that keeps you at walking pace, even though you're in, in, in your goal? Um, so I was a goalkeeper today, but I also play outfield as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's uh, trying not to get too excited when the ball's <laughs> coming for, for you, and that 50-50 ball is always the uh, is is the um, is the tricky one, and that. So um, no, just. I do, I do get pulled up for running when I play at field, so <laughs> probably not the best person to ask. Okay. Well, how about any um, any any tips or tricks you could give to the viewers about keep, um, keeping safe from injury? Uh, definitely make sure you do a good warm up. Make sure you have a, have a little little walk or a little run. Um, plenty of stretching. Um, at least five ten minutes really before a game. You, you know, can't skip a warm up, especially at our age now. Um, over forties, over fifties, that's more important. Most of us might have had an injury at some point as well. So, yeah, just just getting the muscles warm, stretching, um, and also a cool down afterwards as well. So, making sure that if there is anything tight, stretch it out before you uh, before you <coughs> stop. Right. Okay. Um, so, what would you say your goals are for the future when playing walking football? Um, just keep playing, really, as much as possible. Whatever opportunities arise, um, like to be. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm number one, so I'd like to remain number one um, <laughs> for England, and um, and just yeah, to keep going and playing as much as possible. 
And have you got any tips for people watching you here today um, thinking, you know what, I'd like to represent uh, my country. Um, any tips for them? Um, yeah, just get out there, have a go. You don't know until you try. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And there's so many lovely people out there playing and that are always happy to give you advice and tips and that. So, yeah, don't ever be afraid. Um, walking football is um, so accessible for everybody. So there shouldn't be any reason why you, why you can't do it. Fantastic. Well, listen, thank you very much for taking the time out and answering a few questions. I think you deserve to go and join the uh, other team members uh, in your fantastic win today. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.